Today, Museo City meets Christine Marcel. Christine Marcel is chief curator at the Centre Georges Pompidou in Paris, in charge of the department called Création Contemporaine, rather than contemporary arts, perhaps alluding to a wider notion of the contemporary arts today. She was artistic director of the Venice Biennale in 2017, uh, entitled Viva Arte Viva, which brought to the fore the work of artists globally, divided into nine chapters or families of artists, thus exploring a multiplicity of approaches and experimenting what might be called neo-humanism, reflecting the concerns of civil society, society today. She has curated many exhibitions, and monographs dedicated to artists such as Raymond Haynes, Sophie Kahl, Nan Golden, Gabriel Orozco, Philip Carreño, and Anne Vissar. But she has also curated a series of thematic exhibitions which reveal a particular interest in the living vitality of the arts, mingling disciplines such as Danse sa vie, at the Centre Pompidou in 2011, curated with Emma Lavigne on the history of dance, for example, and the exhibition Global Resistance with 65 artists of the permanent collection dedicated to the work of artists and artist collectives worldwide, a sort of counter history of the arts. Christine is currently working on an important exhibition planned for 2021, Women in Abstraction, Another History of Abstraction in the 20th Century, together with Karolina Lewandowska, which she will be talking about today. Over to you, Christine. Thank you. Uh, Women in Abstraction, or Elles font l'abstraction in French, is a, an exhibition that aims to trace a new history of abstraction by focusing on the specific contribution of uh, women artists uh, that have uh, often been uh, underestimated in this history, past histories or recent ones. Uh, for the classical reason of the invisibility of women in the art history, uh, according to Linda Nocklin, uh, because it, it has been written by, uh, by men. Uh, the reasons are uh, education that has been a, 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 a fight for women at the end of the 19th century uh, until the beginning of the 20th century and the limits and frontiers that they had to, to, to fight. Uh, recently, in the years 2010, there have been many exhibition, monography or thematical shows, uh, especially in the Anglo-Saxon world that have uh, uh, restudied the abstraction from a woman artist. And so my exhibition will come as an attempt to uh, write an history, uh, to go further, this first uh, exploration. And my approach is, uh, as I used to do it in my uh, previous exhibition, it's uh, very multidisciplinary. So I consider dance, I consider uh, uh, spiritualism, I consider applied arts, photography and uh, film. And I'm also interested to open the definition of abstraction itself, so for, uh, beyond painting, but also to go uh, beyond the uh, Occidental canon and to include, of course, uh, Latin America, but also Middle East, uh, South Asia, India, uh, China, and uh, uh, autochthon uh, culture. Um, so, as you understand, I'm uh, putting in question the, the classical canon of abstraction that has been uh, uh, defined by Alfred Bard, the, the director of the MoMA, 1936, until the most recent ones, uh, the French ones also, that have uh, been very, um, uh, very much male concentrated, uh, even the 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 one of Dora Valier in the 1967 
had only uh, three uh, women uh, quoted uh, that are the most famous, Sonia Delaunay, Sophie Teuberard, and Marie Vira da Silva. Um, there is also a, a development of uh, the studies of minorities in the recent years. And uh, of course, uh, I'm considering also the research of my colleagues like uh, the Brooklyn Museum that has uh, done the Black Radical Women exhibition in 2017, the uh, Hammer Museum uh, with the Radical Women Latin American Art the same year. Um, so the, the reason why I'm doing this exhibition is that the, there is a, a real lack of visibility of these artists, despite the fact that these artists have been exhibited at their time. Um, if you consider the first woman shows that uh, Peggy Guggenheim has uh, uh, put together in 1943 and 1945 in her uh, space called Art uh, of this Century in New York, there were already uh, abstract women artists such as uh, Irene Rice Pereira, Charmian von Wigand, um, or Esfer Slobodkina, but they have been curiously uh, totally uh, eclipsed and uh, forgotten. Uh, things have changed uh, drastically in the 70s, but uh, abstraction was not really a subject at this time. Uh, there was uh, uh, even some feminists like Monica Shu, uh, who has uh, written that abstraction uh, was not politically engaged. And this is why also in these years, it has not been a, a subject. It has been one for Lucie Lippard with her show Eccentric Abstraction, 1966, where she exhibited uh, Alice Adams, uh, Eva Hesse, and Louise Bourgeois. But she also said that uh, for her, um, abstract art was uh, less there to get her artists and um, she was more in interested in the female gaze, in the female construction of the body and subject. And uh, it's only in the 70s with uh, an artist like Harmony Hammond, who was uh, 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 very uh, active with her uh, publication Heresies, who has written that abstraction and ex uh, especially weaving could be uh, politically engage, and this raise uh, a, a question: uh, Why also women artists have been put aside in the history of, of abstraction? Is that there was a, a rejection in modernism of the ornamental and the decorative, and um, the link between art and applied arts? Uh, was not something that was considered like today, where uh, the, the type of arts have been deconstructed uh, in their hierarchy. And um, so rereading the history of art, uh, of abstraction uh, through women artists, as for consequence to redefine also abstraction itself with their uh, uh, contributions. One other that I'm uh, very interested in and I've studied in my uh, show Dance uh, Your Life is the link uh, of the body and the dance in this uh, creation of abstraction. When you look at Louis Fuller, for example, you understand that she was very interested in uh, working on the geometrization of the body and that there is a history of that going until a very contemporary contribution of uh, dancers who have uh, been in dialogue with uh, space, geometry uh, issues, uh, and also uh, uh, making imprints on uh, papers uh, through their dance. Um, there is another dimension that have been very important in the origins of abstraction, which is uh, spiritualism and especially spiriticism, uh, where women have been uh, very active, also because the, the, 
theosophy of uh, Hélène Blavatsky was very open to women and putting women in equality with men. Uh, there was a natural link uh, with women with this philosophy and uh, some of them, the most well-known uh, Ilma F. Klimt, have uh, developed uh, a word that deals with uh, abstraction in certain ways, uh, sort of sacred symbolism um, that have been uh, uh, underestimated also. Um, to conclude this uh, short presentation, I would like to raise the issue uh, of uh, women artists as a, as a, as a concept itself, which I think should not be exist, uh, existing. So for example, Griselda Pollock, who is associated with the, uh, my project in writing in the catalog, in contributing to uh, the symposium that we will organize uh, in May 2021, uh, together with the association AWARE. Uh, run by my colleague Camille Morino in Paris, uh, which is devoted to women artists. Uh, the, the term itself, women artist, should be uh, artists uh, um, who are women. Uh, uh, because we don't say uh, male artists or men artists, we should hope there will be a time where this uh, distinction uh, will not exist anymore. Uh, but uh, there is a need of uh, efficiency at the moment to, uh, to uh, put light on the specificities of this uh, woman in the history of abstraction. Uh, um, and uh, most of these artists, by the way, uh, rejected the idea of being a woman artist, such as Sonia Delaunay, Barbara Epworth, Louise Nevelson, many others, uh, but the, the fact that uh, uh, their work is not in a visible and uh, well-known uh, is the reason why uh, we, we want to uh, develop this project without rewriting a new canon, but insisting on the specificities of each artist uh, in this history. So after the feminist uh, uh, shows and writing in the 70s, there was a very important book from uh, Lea Vergine called L'Altra Meta dell'Avanguardia, uh, uh, which was uh, published in uh, 1980. And that has been a, 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 a sort of referential book also for my research, um, especially for Italian artists. 